Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Kyodo Kan. I'm Ryusei. Last week, I went to Akita Prefecture and enjoyed the traditional ingredients and foods. And I bought some vegetables, rice, and udon as souvenirs to make videos. Actually, this is my first time to focus on one prefecture. I hope you will find many attractions of Akita Prefecture. First of all, I'll explain Akita Prefecture using a map. Do you know Akita Prefecture? Akita Prefecture is in Tohoku region. The feature of Tohoku region is wonderful nature and unique foods. And the average of food self-sufficiency of Tohoku is high, especially rice. When I went to Akita Prefecture by express, I saw huge and beautiful fields. And then Tohoku region is divided into six prefectures. Aomori, Iwate, Miyagi, Fukushima, Yamagate, and Akita. Today, I'll focus on Akita. The climate is different inland and along the coast. Snow falls in winter, especially inland areas. Although there are a lot of attractions in Akita Prefecture, this time I'll focus on preserved food and beautiful water. Famous preserved foods are Iburikako and Inaniwa Udon. Iburikako is a Japanese white radish which is smoked and pickled with rice bran. Iburi means smoked, Gako means pickles. Iburigako was made for eating long winter. It was born from the wisdom of our ancestors, and now it's so popular and I ate Iburigako almost every restaurant in Akita. And then this is Inaniwa Udon. Inaniwa Udon is also very famous and popular. Actually, I've never known that it was made for preserved food. I heard it from a local person, Inaniwa is a region name. The place of origin is around here. This region was called Inaniwa Town. Inaniwa Town has long winter as well and is surrounded by mountains, so it snows heavy. So long years ago, predecessors grew wheat and created Inaniwa Udon. The taste of Inaniwa Udon is very good and the texture is nice too. Udon goes down the slope well. I'm truly grateful to predecessors and craftsmen. It's absolutely different from other udon. I really recommend to try Inaniwa Udon. It's so tasty. Next, another benefit. Clear and beautiful water. Thanks for great water and people, Akita is one of the most famous places for rice. Actually, in Japan, there are so many species of rice. And Akita Komachi is a very delicious and popular rice made in Akita. But this time, I bought Saki Hokore. I heard that Saki Hokore is a new species which has been sold since a few years ago. I'm sure it takes so many years to make new species and many people made a huge effort to make it. I really appreciate it. This is Saki Hokore. Looks very beautiful. The taste is sweet. The texture is nice, soft, moisture, and sticky. I'm sure this rice is delicious to eat as is. And then I have also unique vegetable. Have you ever seen it? This is tonburi. In my survey, it's the fruits of Bassia scoparia. Tonburi is called caviar in a field. The appearance of tonburi is similar to caviar. For me, I rarely see tonburi in my daily life and the best season of tonburi in October. So I show you only this pre-cooked one. Sorry, but in the future, I'll show you real tonburi in my channel. And Green Grocer recommend me to eat tonburi with rice and yam. So I prepared grated yam. Tonburi is nice bubble texture and it really goes well with smooth texture of yam. It's very nice. Next, have you ever seen it? It's called Junsai. Fortunately, now is the best season of Junsai, so I was able to get it in low. Junsai is one of aquatic plants and firmest harvest plants. Mitane Town is the largest producer of Junsai in Japan. I heard that clear and beautiful water is essential for Junsai. The way of cooking is very simple. I just blanched Junsai for about 20 to 30 seconds and transferred to cold water. 
The outside of the junsei is covered with jelly, and the texture is jelly as well and smooth. Today, I put a vinegar sauce. And I top grated ginger on it. Junsei with vinegar sauce is done. Next, I bought gibase. It's a kind of seaweed. Gibasa is loved in Akute traditionally. Actually, I ate gibase at a restaurant. This package which I bought has also pre-cooked, so very easy to use. I used to kibase just before, did you notice? I used to kibase as a garnish for inaniwa udon like this. And people often add it to miso soup. The texture is slimy, and kibase reminds me of the ocean. Kibase is also attracting attention for high nutritional value. It's a very nice ingredient. Finally, I introduced two vegetables. First one is edible chrysanthemum, which is famous in Tohoku region, Akita and Yamagade. And second, I bought isogaki. Actually, I've never seen isogaki, so I bought it. In my survey, probably in English, isogaki is called New Zealand spinach. Do you know it? This time, I made okitashi with edible chrysanthemum and New Zealand spinach. The looks is beautiful. I use them as garnishes for inaniwa udon as well. Thank you, did you enjoy? Actually, this was my first time to introduce one prefecture. In the future, I'd like to travel many places and learn traditional cultures and make more interesting and enjoyable videos. Thank you for watching to the end. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Have a nice day. See you later.